Here are the hottest girls Donald Trump has slept with. If you think money can't buy you love, you couldn't be any more wrong. Today's video was requested by Origins Explained. If you have a topic you want us to talk about, subscribe and let us know in the comment section below. What's the youngest you've dated? Just 15 years younger? No way! Try 27! That was exactly the case with Gabriella Sabatini, who dated the Donald when he was 43 years old! That means she was only 19! The Argentinian former US Open winner briefly dated Trump for only a month back in 1989, which was a year before she won that US Open title. What I don't understand is why the hell she would choose him when she was constantly surrounded by male tennis players that are in way better shape than he is! I mean, I can see why women would want to marry Trump, but a one month fling doesn't exactly seem like enough time to cash out. She did win almost $9 million in prize money, so it's safe to say she doesn't need a handout. But nevertheless, what a weird but impressive score for the Don, and a not so impressive score for Sabatini, who also dated Ricky Martin and Mickey Rourke back when he still looked human. She did also date Prince Albert of Monaco, who isn't exactly a looker either. But hey, where the gold digging jeans run deep, the pockets run even deeper. Not long after his fling with Sabatini, Trump moved on to former Miss Maryland, Rowan Brewer, and there's no doubt in my mind that he used his big bucks to bang this one. Not only did he lavish her with gifts and attention, but he also used his private helicopter to pick her up and bring her to wherever he was conducting business, just so they could spend a few hours together. Brewer later revealed that he even called her mother just to tell her how beautiful her daughter was. She called it the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for her. Hell, every time I try doing that, I end up with a restraining order against me. Rumor has it that as far back as 25 years ago, Trump asked her if she thought he would make a good president. Hopefully this was back before his racist days. Anyways, another gem on Brewer's dating record is Vanilla Ice. What she was thinking? I have no idea. But beauty pageant girls do tend to run a little insane. Don't believe me? Three words. Honey, boo boo. Ivana Zelnikova, one of the few men in Trump's life that didn't do it all kinds of wrong. Of course she fared well, and here's why. The Czech fashion model got her US citizenship thanks to her marriage to him, and after their divorce, she walked away with a modest $20 million. Hell, I'd get it on with Trump for that kind of money any day. Ivana is one of the many former models Trump has hooked up with, and while she is getting up there in age, she was definitely a sight for sore eyes back in her prime. So in regards to gold diggers, here's one that takes the cake. Ladies, pay attention, cause that sociology degree isn't gonna take you very far. Carla Bruni has had one solid gold digging track record that includes the likes of Eric Clapton, Kevin Costner, Mick Jagger, and of course the big DT. Some of the men she's been with were at the same time involved with other women or even married. Today, Bruni is married to former French president Nicolas Sarkozy. That's gotta be a fun marriage considering the fact that this guy also cheated on his first two wives. At first I thought what an asshole, and then I remembered he was French. No explanation necessary. Anyways, Bruni and Trump dated on and off in 1991, and if Trump is elected president, God forbid, Bruni will have the distinction of having slept with two rock and roll hall of famers and two world leaders. Marla Maples was no supermodel, which means she's definitely skilled with her mouth because she was the reason why Trump and his first wife Ivana divorced. What was supposed to be a simple affair with Maples turned into a scandalous public soap opera that eventually led to the divorce. Yes, that means sleeping with Maples cost Trump $20 million. Talk about putting your dick in the wrong place. In the end, it cost him even more than that because he went on to marry and divorce Maples as well. They had a kid together in 1992, married in 93, then separated in 1999 after tearing off a chunk of Donald's ego when she cheated on him with her then bodyguard, Spencer Wagner. But thanks to a wise prenuptial agreement, Mabel's walked away with just over a million dollars and some real estate. Chump change for the dawn. After having his second wife stolen from underneath him, what better way to rebound than to steal another man's girl? That's exactly what happened with Kara Young, whom he stole from talk show host AJ Benza. To make matters worse, when Benza was on the Howard Stern Show talking about the Trump robbery on live radio to millions of Americans, Trump called into the show to keep rubbing it in his face. After 20 minutes of bickering, Young was brought on the line too to confirm Trump's claims. What ensued was a shit show. The Donald trump Kara Young relationship was short-lived though, and it should come as no surprise that she's now married to and has kids with multi-billionaire Peter Georgopoulos. 
So Kara Young was a woman Trump dated after his divorce with Marla Maples, but Trump wouldn't be Trump if he wasn't also dating someone during the divorce process as well. Alison Janini is a model that appeared in both Elle and Vogue magazines. The two didn't date long enough for her to be able to walk away with any of his money, but despite all that, he did have a pretty significant and lasting impact on her life. Before meeting the Donald, she had some small shitty roles on shitty TV soaps like Days of Our Lives and The Young and the Restless, the type of shitty shows that only shitty people waste their shitty time on, and even these shitheads know how shitty these shows are. But after meeting the Donald, Allison was inspired to give up acting and went back to school to earn her master's in business at Penn State. She now works as an associate at a Beverly Hills real estate company that caters to celebrities and high-end clients. Winner of the Elite Look of the Year contest in 1991 and a model for both Ralph Lauren and Victoria's Secret, Ingrid Sinavi is another one to make it on the Trump tally without a clear incentive. Ingrid signed to his modeling agency in 1997, after which they briefly dated. Why a stunner like her would fall for a wrinkly old raisin like him without gunning for his money is like the eighth wonder of the world. I mean, it's not like his personality is exactly the greatest. Donald Trump has referred to Victoria Zadrock as a third-rate hooker and a pathetic 35-year-old penthouse pet. But that didn't stop him from sleeping with her, and who can blame him? According to Victoria, Donald loves himself way too much and claims him to be the most narcissistic person she had ever met. It'd be pretty optimistic to say that these two are still on good terms. But hey, at least they both got laid, right? Victoria's also dated John Kennedy Jr., whom as we all know is a clear-cut Democrat. With these two exes in her past, I believe it's safe to say she doesn't exactly let political preferences get in the way of her love life. And now, for number one hottest girl Donald Trump has slept with. For more videos, subscribe here. All the women before Melania Knauss are just mere notches under the triumphant Trump belt, since he claims her to be the love of his life. Feeding firmly into his former supermodel criteria, this one has lasted longer than anyone could have predicted. Donald met Melania in 1998, and they got engaged six years later, eventually tying the knot in 2005. If Donald Trump wins a Republican nomination, then moves on to win the presidential election in November, Melania will, without a doubt, also become the hottest first lady in history. That is, of course, if he doesn't replace her with an even younger, hotter model between now and then, which we all know by now is very, very possible. Be sure to check out our 11 unknown animal behaviors by clicking here. Or better.